YouTube, what is up guys? Uh, this is a Q&A video. It has been a long time since I have been just me and the camera. I mean, granted, I have friends over there doing other things. But just me and the camera, going through your questions, answering it. I usually have like Brian Ames or something, or I'm doing some other talking video, but this day, right here, this video, I'm gonna go through your questions that I asked on Instagram this time, and then I'm going to uh, answer them. So let's do this. Without further ado, question time. 3,300 questions. My gosh. Polar Bear Club 7. I didn't see their question, but that was one of it. I might get to his, I don't know. There's so many. Um, Lawrence Bliven says, what happened to the cruiser decks? And would you consider making a Phoenix graphic? Well, yes, for one, for Phoenix, because Phoenixes are awesome. Uh, and we actually have some new cruisers coming this fall, I believe, so watch out for it. That's the plan, at least. No, Phoenix is in, like, the bird that, like, burns to ashes and rises from the, the, the ashes. Yeah, the city decks. No. Oh, I don't, that's a good question. I have no idea. I, I'm guessing he meant the bird, but you're right. That's a good... Point. We just did a city series. This is Timons. He's here to make sense of my videos when I don't. Uh, what was your first job? Asks Mela Luis. And my first job was McDonald's. No. Yes? It didn't last long. I went to Taco Bell very soon. Everyone's judging me in the room now. Dylan Leonardo. Ooh. <laughs> Asks favorite fruit. Watermelon. Completely. And then uh, strawberries and pineapple are super legit too. Dean Leonardo asks, also asks when did you have your first kiss? I still have not. I'm waiting for it. I'll probably make a video of it when it happens, like, oh, you know, it's gonna be so cool. Um, Slaying Sloths <laughs> asks, do you like Metallica? And I love 80s Metallica specifically, but it's Metallica as a whole, sure, yeah, Metallica rules. Radical Aliens, will you be my dad? If you are Raiden holding someone's cell phone, asking that, for sure, yeah, I'll be your dad. I am your dad, and I love you, Raiden. Uh, Copextasy, which is Eric Kopecky, asks, I'm dying to know what's your favorite color. I'm not answering it, okay? In fact, everyone go bug at Copextasy, K-O-P-E-X-T-A-C-Y, and say, dude, just don't, okay? Everyone say that to him. By the way, I'm sitting on this green couch in my hotel room in uh, New York. See, look at that. There's the city, there's my hand. Kanganator7 says, do you like boosted boards? That's Ty Moss over there. He bleeds boosted boards. And they're cool, yeah. I mean... I've never, I've only messed around with one at a skate park like back in the day. I don't own one, but uh, they remind me of cheapskates. Do you know what I'm talking about, Craig? Yes. What's that from? Cheapskates? Yeah. I mean, I guess it was a thing, but like I know it from Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I know it from cheapskates. Was it like a company? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Okay, well, I'm the idiot then. They used motorized skateboards, dude. That was awesome back when I was like two. Uh, Leah Footballer underscore real. Would you ever stop skateboarding and why? Um... If, if the fate of the world were, like, if I was going to save a bunch of people's lives to quit skateboarding, I would because I, I, like to, I like to think that that would be a good deed. That would be a nice thing to do is not kill a bunch of people. But for any normal reason, uh, no, I don't need to quit skateboarding. I love it. Dylan Willis says, will you ever tell us why you always wear red? And if I do, it, it might be on a Wednesday. If you had to either leave Ohio or quit skating, what would you choose? Leave Ohio. Done. <laughs> I mean, I love Ohio. I don't want to leave, but for sure. Trev.86 says, can I be in your video? You're freaking in my video, Trev. 86. Do you think Trev was born in... I don't think Ed Trev was born in 86. I wonder what that means. He might be the 86th Trev. Or it's his favorite number. Or it's his favorite number. Larry Calamari says, favorite band as a 15-year-old versus favorite band slash music now. Favorite band as a 15-year-old was probably no effects. And it was punk rock was definitely my favorite music. Um, but uh, favorite band now, Coheed and Cambria. And favorite type of music is just anything like catchy rock, you know? And it, I mean, could be punk, but... Uh, I mean, I guess, like, Coheed's, like, more progressive and stuff, but... <laughs> Andrew dot... Banegas... <laughs> Banegas? Andrew Banegas, we'll say that. Uh, was there any huge moment in skateboarding that you thought you should just quit? Uh, no. Not an actual moment that I thought I should quit. But I've probably said I'm gonna quit skateboarding a million times, and I don't actually mean that. I'm just frustrated and hot-headed, and I have a temper. And I was just like, ah, you know, not, not a bunch of times, but I've probably said it, like, I'm just gonna quit. Cause I'm a baby. All skateboarders have a have a thing inside them. They're they're just idiots sometimes. And that's sometimes I'm an idiot. <laughs> Chris Chanzy, this is not Chris Chan. But let's just act like it is. It has a picture of Chris Chan. When, why, and where did you think the start of the Revive company? It is actually Revenge Skateboards before it was Revive, and uh, the We Are Revenge series was getting a lot of uh, requests for decks and shirts. And I obliged. I was like, you know what? Okay, if you guys want to do it. So I started a company. I didn't want to start a company, but I did. And I ended up liking it once I started running it. And uh, things just kept going up and up and up. So uh, I just kept rolling. And now it is what it is now. Thanks to you guys. Seriously, I, I truly appreciate it. I do love what I'm doing. And it's awesome 
to have Revive. Um, it's a it's a dream come true. The, it, it, the, the business side of it, the company side of it, is a dream I didn't even know I had. But to like to do something with skateboarding, that was my dream. And you know, of course, Revive fits that mold. Oh my gosh, Donkey Fingerboards says, has anyone ever said you look like Jeremy from Day to Remember? Every but I get that 20 times a day, and yes, I, I wonder if that guy. I, I don't listen to Day to Remember, but I wonder if that guy gets it. If, if he reads it a lot, he knows who I am. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna hang out with this dude and be like, and just be like, I'm just gonna need to call Mirror. Apparently, like, hello Mirror, nice to meet you. Nw17 underscore dot underscore asks, how did you meet Brian Ames? Um, I met him at camp in fifth grade. I met him, and he was in my my cabin, and he let me borrow a Goosebumps book. And then I didn't see him for a couple years later, and then we just started skating together and been best friends since. Uh, yeah, but no, we've been really great friends since, and uh, that's that's how it happened. Fifth grade, I guess. Keegan underscore Beach 7 says, will you give me a shout out? No! But I kind of just did. And that was a really bad singing it. Why do positive people like yourself hang around someone so negative like Black Ninja? I get asked this uh, here and there. Uh, Despite whatever you see online with Black Ninja, I will, will say that, that Ninja can be a punk online, but that's actually, that's his like online persona. He's like one of the most genuine, would you agree? Steve's one of the most genuine, nice dudes that we hang out with. And uh, despite what he appears online, he's like the type of guy that when you're in a video of his, he'll like send it to you just to verify, even if it's like something normal, just to verify that you're okay with it. Like, especially things with Raiden, like he's great with playing with Raiden. Like Steve is like a really nice, genuine, kind-hearted dude. Uh, he's just the Black Ninja character is a little more risque, I guess you can say. But uh, every time I've ever hung out with Steve, he's never done or said anything. That's been that's been ill willed towards anybody. So I think people just I think people just buy into his drama too much. Like he's doing it to get a reaction out of you guys, and people give it to him. Toll and Cole says, "Are you hungry? I am so freaking hungry. I'm showering, and we're going to get food right after this. Actually, how many ridings could you fit into shred quarters?" That's nice. Dot memory, uh, uh, so many. He's a tiny guy. Uh, here's a good question. A lot of people think I am too. You know what? The, it's, all right, here. I'll ask a question first. Dominic underscore Scott 8 says, are you ever going to have a pro skateboard for Revive? Do you guys think I will? No. <laughs> you said, it looks like you said you want to say yes. No, I have no plans on going pro, uh, but I just, when I did the commercial thing today, I did some work with Dubman plus Karen. That's like, they, they promote me as a professional skateboarder, which I guess technical, technically I am because I make money from skateboarding, but I'm not a professional skateboarder. Um, and I have no plans on being, especially like, one, I'm, I have put my time in. I've put enough pain and suffering into that some of these dudes are out there, but I'm just not naturally talented like they are. I can do some tricks here and there, and uh, on a marketing scheme, I, a lot of people think it makes sense, but I don't. I don't want to do that because I just I feel like I haven't deserved it. And me, like even if it was the guys turning me pro, I still would be like this. This isn't right. I don't. I don't. I don't know. And nobody would accept it. Not even me. So I don't think I'll ever be pro. I don't want to go there. So. That's that. It would be way more stressful to be pro. That'd be like something I wouldn't even want to go to. I'm pro, pro I'm a pro dude. All right, I'll take that. Jerem underscore 25 says, favorite thing from Taco Bell, and that'll be the chili cheese burrito. Or the, the gordita crunch, oh my gosh, that one's good too. A pimp underscore salad asks if I'm black. I'm just gonna keep going. Ryan underscore skate life says, when is yours and, favor and Ryden's favorite holiday? Uh, I would say mine is probably Christmas, just cause like the, the snow and all the feelings behind it's awesome. Um, Halloween's pretty awesome too, and I would say Raiden's is one of those. He might say Halloween, honestly, which is weird because as a kid I, would, I was all about Christmas. You know, I was all about Christmas as a kid. Smokey the skateboarder says Trump or Hillary. Ah! Linnea Lindblom says when is your new book coming out? I've got to write it first. I'm in the process of writing it. I'm sucking at writing it. I'm worried right now. I'm worried about Take Over the World, the new revive video. So fingers crossed I'm working on that. But uh, it was supposed to be out this year. Probably not gonna happen. Absolutely next year. If it doesn't happen next year, I'm gonna run around naked in a YouTube video. It's gonna suck. I'll blur myself out, but I'll actually do it, and it's gonna suck. But I'll do it. I don't, just because I said that right now. I shouldn't have said that. But Mark Sanchez says, as you, Ryden, and your viewers age, do you think you'll start to allow more profanity in your videos? Probably not. Uh, the reason why I don't really put... I don't care about cursing. Like, I feel like on YouTube, it's like it means something to all these people. Like, oh, he curses. He's cool. It's like, that's the stupidest thing I've heard in my life. I just don't want to offend anybody, you know? Like, and I'm, I'm not saying I, I curse all over the place, but it's just the sort of thing I think it's tacky. And I think I don't want to offend anybody on the channel. I don't think there's a need to. I can, like, you can say other words. has the same uh, communication behind it. And it's just, it's just not needed, you know? I just, 
It's just one of those things like I, when a certain movie when they curse a lot, it starts to be like this is stupid and I feel like it's meant for like 12 year olds. No offense if you're 12, but some of them, you know, some of the where it's not like intelligent humor, it's just like I'm gonna say a bunch of stupid things and hopefully th people think it's funny. I think it, it, when you start to curse a bunch, it kind of starts to feel like that. I just think it's tacky, so nothing against anyone. If you curse, I could care less. Um, I'm not saying go curse. I'm not saying don't curse. I'm just saying I don't really think it's a place for it on my channel. That's all that I'm saying. I'm saying a lot of stuff, but that's what I'm saying. Mad FB Skater says, what trick do you think Raiden will be able to do better than you? Your vids rock. Uh, well, if Raiden chooses to, let me get the lighting a little. Uh, well, this is, the lighting has changed so much in this room. Let's go over here. If Raiden chooses to skate, uh, to keep skating, he's gonna be better at front 180s, Smith grinds. He's gonna be better at hard flips. He's gonna be better at front side flips because I suck at all of those. I can tell you right now, he'll be way better than me. But I'm not really worried if Raiden doesn't skate. I, I just want him to follow his passion, do what makes him happy. Um, the last thing I wanna be is like the dad that's like, you gotta do this, son. Uh, but that's it, I'm gonna wrap it right there. Um, thank you guys for all you, the questions you asked. Um, I'll do this again sometime, um, so pay attention to my Instagram. It's at Andy Schrock, and uh, thank you guys for watching. That's it. This is it. We're done. Yeah, I'm going to go shower, and I'm going to go across Manhattan, and I'm going to eat. It's going to be amazing. So that's it. Go into my suitcase, guys. All right, bonus for the bonus clip. Ty, worst kind of runt. Worst kind of what? Runt. What's you don't. That? You don't. Do you not know what a runt is? No. <laughs> okay. All of them. We're done. We're done here. <laughs> you talking about the candy? Yeah, the candy. I don't know any banana. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's the right answer. Oh, no one likes banana. Things. I thought yeah. the little like bead things. I don't know. Probably banana. Banana. We'll go with that. Craig, thank you. Gosh. Flowers. Peace out.